Hi, I'm Pilot Mike, continuing with the video series on single engine pressurized turboprops. Today I'll be covering the Piper M600 SLS by the legendary aircraft manufacturer Piper Aircraft. The SLS standing for Sexy Long and Sleek. Well, actually it stands for Safety Luxury Sport. The Piper M600 SLS comes with the new Halo safety system, which includes the amazing Garmin Autoland as standard. Now that is amazing because it can be quite costly to purchase for the competitor aircrafts. The Piper M600 was the first general aviation aircraft certified to use the Garmin Autoland. If you haven't seen my other turboprop videos, link in the description below this video, the Garmin Autoland system is a safety feature in the event of pilot incapacity will automatically seek out a nearby landing destination and land the aircraft getting the passengers down safely. It takes into account weather and terrain and it'll land in airports with a GPS approach and vertical guidance. The M600 Halo safety system is a range of safety features that includes the Garmin Autoland, Surface Watch, Auto Throttle, Flight Stream 510, Safe Taxi, Synthetic Vision, Terminal Traffic, Emergency Descent Mode, Automatic Level Mode, Under Speed Protection, Coupled Go Around, and Electronic Stability and Protection. I'll explain what each of those are a bit later in the video. For now, let's quickly cover the performance. So for the range, you're going to get about 1,658 nautical miles when you're cruising at 184 knots with 45 minutes in reserve. You can also get a range of 1,385 nautical miles when cruising a bit faster at 257 knots. So uh, this is not too bad, but you're not going to get as far as something like the TBM 940, but it is slightly better than the sleek and sexy looking Epic E1000 GX. Max operating altitude is the standard 30,000 feet. You're looking at a rate of climb of 1,556 feet per minute and landing distance over a 50 foot obstacle, you're going to need 2,659 feet or 810 meters. You get 600 shaft horsepower from that Pratt & Whitney PT6A 42A turboprop engine, which actually comes with a seven year warranty, which is really good. All other aspects of the Piper M600 come with a five year warranty. So decent all round performance stats there. So let's take a look at the cabin volume. You're gonna get about 165 cubic feet, which is good when you compare it to the TBM 940, which has 123 cubic feet. But the Piper M600 is a smaller aircraft than both the PC-12 NGX, which has a huge 330 cubic feet, and the Epic G1000 GX, which has 184 cubic feet. The Piper M600, you can actually fit six people inside, so that's obviously four passengers and two pilots, or five passengers and one pilot, aided by that sophisticated autopilot and auto land system. Let's take a look at the Halo safety features then, starting with the Garmin Autoland. This is a fully autonomous landing system that can be activated both manually or automatically when the system senses that the pilot is incapacitated. Autoland algorithms consider runway length, time, wind, fuel, weather and glide path to determine the best airport for landing and the system actually notifies air traffic control and tells the passengers what's happening by updating them on the aircraft position and landing time. Once on the runway, the braking system will activate and bring the aircraft to a complete stop and it'll actually shut down the engine. The Garmin Autoland automatically controls all of these. It controls the gear extension, the GRA55 radar, the altimeter, the auto throttle, the flaps, flight into known icing, braking, and fuel shutoff. The M600 also has a nifty blue button that will get you out of trouble. Hit this to get level again. So it's useful for those times when you get disorientated and really mess up your aircraft attitude. Just hit that blue button and you are level flying again, which is great. The Piper M600 has hypoxia recognition with automatic descent mode. So this is a safety feature, it's big brother, it's monitoring you when the autopilot is engaged and you're above 14,000 feet. If the pilot hasn't done anything in a while, it'll prompt the pilot for a response. If there is no response given within four minutes, the aircraft will start to descend. It'll try to get another response out of the pilot after descending, and if no response is given again, it'll start to 
engage the auto land system and land the plane. So don't fall asleep or you might find yourself parked on an active runway on some airport en route. The electronic stability and protection system is a passive barrier that is used when flying manually when autopilot is disengaged. What it does is it prevents spins and stalls or loss of control. The ESP can recognize when under speed or over speed conditions are about to occur, such as in a stall or about to go into a stall or too steep of a descent. If it thinks you might exceed the bank angle, the flight controls will apply force to nudge the pilot back to the desired angle. Synthetic Vision is part of the Garmin G3000 series, giving great situational awareness. Safe Taxi and Terminal Traffic work together to give you a geo-reference airport map on your display, showing your aircraft's position on the airfield with those taxi hold short lines and other ADS-B equipped aircraft and ground vehicles. The Piper M600 has Flightstream 510, which is a wireless Bluetooth enabled gateway that streamlines your workload by connecting pre-flight planning from your mobile device to the G3000 avionics suite. And finally, all the rage these days in these single engine pressurized turboprops, the auto throttle to reduce pilot workload. It increases efficiencies and reduces fuel and operating costs. And speaking of operating costs, the direct operating cost per hour is just over 600 US dollars as published by their brochure. So this is better than their competitor, the TBM 940 and the Pilates PC12 NGX. However, take this for what it is, that's from the Piper's M600 brochure. The TBM 940's website shows their operating costs in comparison to competitors such as the Piper M600, and they have the Piper M600 at $2.26 per 2 nautical miles per year, which is a shade more than the TBM 940. I'll include links to these cost resources in the description below this video so you can check it out for yourself. The base price of the Piper M600 is where it really stands out. It's a really competitive 2.853 million US dollars, which coming under 3 million US dollars is really, really good. Really good, especially considering you get the Garmin Autoland as standard. Okay, that concludes my short video on the Piper M600 SLS. Another really cool single engine pressurized turboprop and another video in the turboprop series. I hope you liked it. If you want to see more videos about these turboprops, I've put links to those videos in the description below. If you like the video, consider hitting the like button. It really helps the channel out. And if you want to see more videos about general aviation aircraft, then hit subscribe because I've got loads more coming out. And finally, if you are looking to get yourself a nice little pilot accessory, I've made a shop powered by Amazon where I'm finding bargains on Amazon and putting them up on my little shop. So if you want to see if you can find something to treat yourself with for a bargain price through the Amazon store, then, you know, you can hit the link below in the description below this video and have a browse there. That concludes the video, basically. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. I am Pilot Mike and thanks for watching.